to the hero teacher who disarmed a sixth grader after the girl opened fire inside her Idaho school. And this morning, that teacher speaking out for the first time. Amy joins us with the story. Good morning, Amy. Hey, good morning, Michael. Yes, it is every teacher's nightmare hearing gunshots ring out inside their school. Well, on this day in Idaho, one teacher confronting the danger instead of running the other way, taking the girl's gun away and likely saving so many lives in the process. This morning, the hero teacher who stopped a school shooting in Idaho earlier this month now breaking her silence. It was a little girl and my brain couldn't quite grasp that. And so I looked at her and I just quietly said, are you the shooter? And she just watched me and I just walked up to her and I put my hand over her hand and I just slowly pulled the gun out of her hand and she allowed me to. She didn't fight. She didn't give it to me, but she didn't fight. And then after I got the gun, I just pulled her into a hug because I thought this little girl has a mom somewhere that doesn't realize she's having a breakdown and she's hurting people. Kristen Knighting, a middle school math teacher, was preparing her students for their final exams when she heard a gunshot from down the hall. I got up and I walked to my door and I just looked out and I just saw one person in the hallway quite a ways down and it was our janitor and I shut the door and I came back in and then I heard two more shots. And so I just told my students, we are going to leave. We're gonna to run to the high school. You're gonna run hard. You're not gonna look back. And now is the time to get up and go. Authorities say a sixth grade girl pulled a handgun out of her backpack and started shooting inside Rigby Middle School. She then moved outside where she continued to fire. We heard one gunshot and then right after we heard another and we heard multiple kids screaming and my friends and I were freaking out and we were hiding in the corner of our classroom. Three people were injured. Two students and a custodian were rushed to the hospital. One of the boys just started talking about, ouch, I'm shot. And I just looked at him and I said, are you shot? And he said, yes. Moments after trying to help the boy, Nighting looked up and saw a gun. I just knew that when I saw that gun, I had to get the gun. Okay, Nighting hugging the girl as she called 911 with her cell phone, waiting and embracing until police arrived. After a little while, the girl started talking to me and I could just really tell she was very unhappy. And I just kept hugging her and loving her and trying to let her know that we're gonna get through this together. And so I looked at her and I just said, he needs to put you in handcuffs. And she didn't respond, she just let him. And he was very gentle and very kind and he just, went ahead and took her and put her in the, the police car. The girl going through an apparent crisis, nighting, calming her down when she and the students in her school needed it most. I do believe that my being there helped her because she calmed down and she was able to just watch me and to stay calm and to let me approach her. So I do know that my calmness definitely must have affected her. The prosecutor's office telling ABC News the girl is still in custody and has been charged, knighting, hoping people can forgive her for what she has done. She's just barely starting in life, and she just needs some help. Everybody makes mistakes. I think we need to make sure we get her help and get her back into where she loves herself so that she can function in society. Now, Krista went on to say that she does want to meet with that young student once officials say it's okay and that she hopes she gets the support she needs. But wow, what a teacher, guys. Yeah. You said it, what a teacher. And even her remarks there at the end about how she hopes that this young girl gets the, the help that she obviously needs. Yeah. Yeah. So much empathy and so much courage mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.